Hi, I'm Frank Sesno, your host on Planet Forward, coming to you from our studios at the George Washington University in the heart of Washington, D.C. A lot of talk about climate change and how to reduce carbon footprint and reduce energy consumption. There's one simple rule when it comes to consumption, and that is charge more for something and people use less of it. There's an experiment going on here in town where there is now a five cent charge for plastic or paper bags. Well, you go to the store, you go to the drugstore, suddenly you got a charge. It's having a rather dramatic impact, as some of our students went to see for themselves. Bags are, were found to be a primary pollutant in the Anacostia River, so we put a charge on bags so that the revenue collected from that would go to clean up the river. The uh, African American community that grew up here 50, 60, 70, 80 years ago remembers swimming in Anacostia. They got baptized in Anacostia. And having their memories was really helpful in us trying in talking to other people saying, hey, these people swam in it. Wouldn't you like to be able to have those kind of memories that your grandparents have? I keep forgetting to bring the bag that I had purchased the previous day. So now I have like 20 or 30 bags. <laughs> I kid you not. But, you know, it does have a purpose, but it's like a catch-22 no matter how you look at it. Well, normally I don't like government intervention in, in private sector. Um, I have to say I respect this one because I think it achieved the goal. If the numbers hold up, then this has already been more successful than um, most people could have predicted. The recycling is harm mitigation. The damage has been done. And recycling, it is really trying to figure out something to do with trash. The bag tax reduces the amount of trash that's produced. Reduce the amount of waste, reduce the amount of trash we produce. It saves energy, <clears throat> it saves the environment, and I think that's the bigger message. <laughs> Frankly, if the argument is five cents is too much, then try two cents, try three cents. I was teaching a bunch of middle school kids, and one of these little girls, I think she was maybe 12, had, <laughs> to her, it was the most logical, insane thing ever, and she just couldn't understand why anybody would oppose it. And the way she put it was, you were given a bag. If you couldn't use it responsibly, you should have to pay for another one. The District of Columbia is the only major American city that charges for both paper and plastic. How do you feel about it? In the district, residents are deeply, deeply split, so we'll be watching very closely. But in your community, is there a place for this? Would charging more for paper and plastic affect things and make things better where you live? Or is it undue government interference, as many think? Make your case. Let us know at planetforward.org.